Hey guys, welcome back. Hope you're doing well. On One just came out with an update to Photo Raw 2022. It's called Photo Raw 2022.1. It is a free update if you already own On One Photo Raw 20. 22. And I think it's pretty awesome that they're out with an update already that has new features. There are quite a few new features, although there are three specifically that I'm going to talk about in this video that are kind of my faves. These are the things that I have been playing with and kind of having fun with and I foresee myself using as I will demonstrate in this video. The three features in question that I'm going to be talking about are liquify, visualize dust spots, and something new called snapshots. They're all cool, they're all built in, and they're quite easy and rather useful. So let's get into it. Here we go. In uh, this photo, I'm going to start out by showing you Liquify. Um, it's on that left-hand uh, tool well. Just click on that. Um, I'm going to shrink my mouse. Um, and in Liquify, you basically have three different options. You have the push tool, which lets you kind of move stuff. That's what I'm going to show first. And then I'm going to show the bloat tool, which is the second one. I'll show you that next. And then the third one is the pinch tool, and I will show you that one as well. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this push tool. And what it does, this is something I find myself interested in using in a situation like this, where I've got these waves coming in. They're, they're sort of undulating, like especially right around in here. But, you know, I kind of want to accentuate that a little bit so I can use the push tool. And you just set your mouse with your left or right bracket key to the size that you want. And all you need to do, in fact, I'm going to go a little bit uh, smaller, is you just... Click once here, and then what I want to do is drag this wave that's incoming a little bit further to the left to make it stick out and give it a little bit more prominence in the photo. So as you can see, I just start dragging, and it has that desired effect. And you let go, and there you go. So if I show you the before and after, let me turn off the lens correction. That would be better. So if I show you the before and after, that's what it looked like. Remember, look right here. And then after, it's got a little bit more shape to it. So you could come along this coastline, uh, you know, where the waves are coming in and increase or decrease the amount by which they are kind of doing that undulating kind of look. The only thing to be careful about is that there is, you know, some texture in the waves. And if you overdo it, it's going to get a little bit blurry and stretched looking in places, so be careful. But the other cool thing is you can actually move this around a little bit once you get it in place and shape it and set it appropriately. So that's how push works. Let me show you bloat. Okay, now I've got this photo and I've got bloat, which is this center option here, bloat tool. And what this does is basically allow you to kind of make something kind of bulge out or pop or it basically gives it a little bit more prominence and so what i do is i just set my mouse i clicked once and i just kind of circle around in here and all i'm doing is kind of expanding the size of that bubble right uh, or that uh that lens and so i'm doing the same thing here i recommend going slow by the way and being careful with it because um, if you're not careful you can get a little bit sloppy and you might end up with something that's a little bit misshapen like that uh, and then also I'll do this one just to kind of show you how it works. Now this is not something I necessarily think that I would do a whole lot, but like in a landscape, for example, if you have a rock in the foreground, this might be an option for accentuating the size of the rock slightly in the frame. And that's one of the things I want to key in on with the liquify tool is that I think slight is going to be your best friend here. Obviously, if you try to push pixels, they're not creating new pixels. They're just kind of squishing and moving and, and that sort of thing, the pixels that are already there. So just be careful because you can't really overdo it without sort of making things look a little bit weird. So in this case, yeah, it looks a little bit weird, but I wanted to point out how this tool works. So there it is before and there it is now. I probably would get rid of this one, which by the way, you can just click on that little square and hit delete. I kind of like that one on there and that one there I think look okay. So I'm going to show you there it is before and after. Now let me show you the pinch tool here within Liquify. Okay, so this time I'm going to use the pinch tool. As I said, if you hover up here, it says pinch tool. It gives an example of clothing on a model, which I think is actually a perfect implementation of this tool. So again, set your mouse uh, to the appropriate size or your cursor. And in this case, it's this little piece of her shirt that's kind of sticking out. And I'm going to shrink that a little bit. And so what I'm going to do is you just... Uh, Click once with your mouse, and then you just kind of go back and forth and kind of go over it, and you can draw in the size of that garment. And let me show you the before and after. There you see before. Again, look here in this bottom left corner by her hip. There it is before, and there it is now. Now, another thing to be aware of, two things. Actually, 
Number one is the garment, it's wrinkled and that sort of thing because it's on her. So I think if you didn't know any better, you wouldn't notice that that line is slightly bent. But in this garment, because it has stripes on it, the line is actually bent because of what I did with the liquify tool. So keep that in mind if you're doing this kind of thing on a portrait, that if there's a line in the clothing and uh, you know you just wanna make sure that it, it, you can get away with it is really what I'm getting at. I think in this case, I can get away with it because there it is before and even though after you can tell, I don't think if you knew the before that you would be able to tell. That's one thing. The second thing is be careful of the background. I got away with it here, but these two vertical lines that are on this fence in the background, if I wasn't careful and really stayed close to the edge of that garment, I could easily overlap and grab those and start moving them, uh, those around, and then they would get a little wonky looking. So keep that in mind when you're using the pinch tool or frankly, any of the tools here in Liquify. But that's my first look at Liquify. It's pretty cool, it's useful. Again, I said slight earlier is the way to do it. In my opinion, that's the best way to go. Small, minor little touch-ups that as a photographer might catch your eye, may or may not be something that your audience viewing your photos would necessarily notice. But hey, we like to be perfectionists and this is a great tool to help you do that. Okay, let's go look at visualize dust spots. It's super cool and I'm gonna use that a lot. Okay, here's a shot from Venice and in this case, I would use the retouch button to go ahead and, and get rid of some dust spots. I see a few, there's one there. I think there's one there. Looks like there might be one there and over there. And you know, I think I got them. It looks pretty good. Well, this is where visualize dust spots comes in because there are quite a few more in this photo. I didn't necessarily see them, but if you were to send this to a client or a customer or print it, you would then say, you know, oh, darn it, I missed them. Well, visualize dust spots is a great option for that. You click that, one click, and additional spots will show up. There's one right here that I didn't see. And by the way, I didn't even really look or pay attention to the water, but I see quite a few. And this visualize dust spots has given me visibility, as the name implies, into these so I can come in and remove them and frankly do a much better job than I would have done without it. But even these in the water down here, I don't know that I would see those very well. Yeah, I can barely even see those. And uh, you know, honestly, I would miss them. But now when you turn this on, you can see they're, uh, they're very noticeable. So I believe in one of the preview videos that, that Dan, their, their product uh, VP did, I think he mentioned that basically they're using some version of their dynamic contrast and just cranking it up. But whatever it is they're doing, it's super helpful because as you can see, there's still quite a few spots in this photo that I need to go remove. And um, this tool will be super helpful for that. Let me show you one more example of this. Okay, here's another example. Now, if you click on a retouch and you get your little uh, you know, eraser or whatever, you can go through and honestly, I had so many spots on my lens. I can see quite a few up here and I'm gonna need a little while to clean those up. I'm not gonna do that. I see a few over here as well. And honestly, it's, it's kind of bright, so I can't see too well in this side of the photo. I definitely see spots. There's quite a few. I'm clicking a bunch of them now, but I'm not gonna get them all. And that's not the point. The point is I'm not gonna see them all. Um, and so let's pretend like I've got all the ones that I can see, even though it's not entirely true. But especially on that left side where it's kind of bright, it looks mostly clear. I mean, I can see a couple more, but honestly, and I'm not just exaggerating this for video's sake, um, I see, I mean, I feel like I got them. Uh, it's hard to tell, but once I click visualize dust spots, you kinda, your mind gets blown a little bit and you're like, oh my gosh, this is a mess. And I had no idea. And so once again, if I turn this off, a lot of these spots, I mean, if you look over here on the brighter side of the photo, I would never see those because if you look at the photo, it's pretty bright. I wouldn't necessarily see those. Now they're kind of burning into my, my own pixels here in my eyes. I feel like, and I'm like, ooh, um, I think I see a couple of them, but do I see that many of them? not even close. So this is gonna be a great tool to help you clean up those images like this one that you know you should have sent the old Nikon off to the uh, shop to get cleaned, but I didn't have time and I ended up with this. It's salvageable thanks to this product and this Visualize Dust Spots tool. I can now go in, remove those, and make it look normal. Okay, and the last thing that I'm really liking and see myself using quite a bit is what's called snapshots. So snapshots, as the name implies, basically lets you take a picture, uh, you know, a photo at a moment in time. This is for your editing. And so what it does is gives you the ability to try out different looks on photos without having to create a copy or anything like that. And so you can just go in, edit your photo, take a snapshot, move on, undo, redo, whatever. Even if you reset all, which you can do in the bottom of this editing window, 
it will still save your snapshots. Let me show you, show you how it works. So here's my base photo. Let's say I wanna come in here and pull down the highlights a little bit and maybe lift up a little bit of the midtones and shadows, maybe add a little bit of contrast, maybe add a little vi vibrance and saturation. I don't know. Let's say I like that, but I'm not really sure. I kinda of wanna try a couple of different looks. Well, Snapshots is up here in the right-hand corner across this top navigation bar. Just click on Snapshots and you can see there's original, but if I wanna snapshot this one, I just click Snapshot and it comes up and it says, you know, name this and I'll call this uh, Intro Edits because I don't know what else to call it. So these are my introductory edits. And so now I've got Intro Edits. I can go back to Original or I can go back uh, forward, if you will, to Intro Edits. So now I've got that and hey, guess what? I see some dust spots. And I'm not going to visualize and take them all out, but I got a few that I need to get rid of. And so, I, you know, I see that. And while I'm at it, I'm going to go ahead and crop this because I want to get rid of some of that extra sky. And I'm going to do something like that. Now, I like that. I think that looks pretty good. I think I'm going to save that. I'm going to call that snapshot. I'm going to call it crop and erase, right? So there we go. Now I've got that. And so if for some reason I decide I want to go back without that crop, I could just go back to intro edits and there it is, right? So um, anyway, I'm going to, I'm going to pop back to crop and erase because maybe I want to do some other stuff. Maybe, you know what? Maybe I want to do a black and white. Let's get the effects tab open and let's get a filter and let's get black and white. And I'm going to check out some of their presets. Maybe I like this fade to black and white. I'm going to go ahead and click that, apply it to my photo. And I want another snapshot. I'm just going to call this BW. So you get the point. You can bounce around, go back and forwards or backwards and then back to the future, whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? You can do lots of different things with this snapshot functionality. And I find myself a lot of times doing exactly what I did here, which is I'll do my base edits, maybe crop, remove spots, that sort of thing. And then I'll do my base edits and develop. But then I get to effects and I start experimenting. And sometimes I want to look at like the color version versus the black and white. And so the only option I really have is to turn filters on and off there in the uh, in the effects tab. And really what I want to do is have multiple versions so I can bounce back and forth. And so this gives you the ability to do that sort of thing. Super handy, super cool, and super useful. I think I'll be using snapshots quite a bit. So those are the three features uh, or new tools that are added to On1 2022.1 that I'm most excited about. There are a number of other things added, performance increases, advanced search, smart albums, lots of other things. But these are the three that I think I'll be using the most and I'm pretty excited about it. Just continually impressed with On1. I mean, they just came out with 2022 like a couple of months ago and they've already got an update with significant new features added. Uh, kudos to the folks at On1. Great job. And those are the three features I'm digging the most. Liquify, Visualize Dust Spots, and Snapshots in 2022.1 by our friends over at On1. Thanks for watching, my friends. Let me know if you have any questions. And until next time, I'll see you and adios.